Welcome to PoserFactory.com's Poser Basics 101 tutorial for how to lo load a morph into a figure. In our first video we showed you how to load a figure into a poser scene. That figure that we use for the tutorial and we, that we'll use throughout the rest of the series is the Michael Four character from Daz3D.com. This particular character actually has additional morphs that you can purchase along with the character and we're going to show you how you actually add those in. Uh, please note, not that all characters have morphs you need to add in. Some actually come with morphs uh, already injected into the characters. And um, you may not need to do this. However, it's always good to know. What a morph is, is a morph is what allows you to actually change the look of the character. As you can see, this character is pretty plain. He's basic. He is the default character nothing really impressive. With morphs we can change that. Morphs is what gives us the opportunity to make a character come from the basic default character as you see here into anything you want really. Alright so let's begin. What we're going to do is we're going to load our morphs uh, library. This is the second this is the second um, window and it's actually the morphs are actually in the same window as we're, that you're going to find poses when we get to poses later on. So you would open up your pose window just like on the first video you would need to expand any folder that's not expanded. As I said earlier this is Daz Michael 4 character that I'm using for the tutorial so I know his his morphs are going to be within the Daz Michael 4 folder inside of my pose category. I'll scroll down through my library which your library will be a lot different than mine as it's all custom to what we've gotten and I'll find Daz's Michael 4. If there's still a question mark next to the folder it means that this library is still loading. Just give it a few moments. The more things you have the longer it takes to load. Once you find where your character's morphs are, which folder, expand it and then find if there's another folder like this has morph injections itself you would expand that. Now with the Michael 4 character, you actually have the options to just install, the, inject the morphs themselves all together, or go through and inject every morph by itself. We're only going to show the base for the basis of this tutorial. And with Michael 4, what I like to do is what I really suggest if you do purchase this character from das3d.com, I would highly suggest also getting the Morphs Plus Plus pack, which will inject as well. Injecting is real simple. You have the character, you have his body selected, highlight the injection, and press the double check mark underneath, which is apply universal pose. What this what this will do is it'll apply the morphs to the character, and then if you add more morphs on top of it, it's not going to um, erase override anything. All right. I always inject the base morph first if there is one for your character and then you can add the additional morphs for this particular character I, the only other morphs I use unless absolutely needed would be the inject morphs plus plus which like I said is an additional pack you can purchase from das3d.com click the little double check mark you'll see it say loading and then once it's loaded they're injected now it doesn't look like anything has really been done differently and that's fine. What you want to look for is over here. Now that we've injected that you can expand these folders and find the morphs that we've injected. Each morph each morph form that we've injected gives it a chance, gives you different options that you did not have before to be able to do different things with your character. Most of the time it tells you exactly what it is say like the head size morph that was injected through either the base or the morphs plus plus you would be able to use the little bar and change the size of the head you can also click on this and put in a random number and it would do it <laughs> as you can see you can do some fun things with that just playing with the numbers you can do different just different sizes different things what I really like about the morphs plus plus though is under morph shapes you can find morphs plus plus and what I like to do is start with the full body morphs 
you only get this option after injecting the Inject Morph Plus Plus Morph Pack. This is where I like to begin. You can actually set a base of bodybuilder and bulk and definition. You can set your character to be smooth, uh, heavy, you know, different things. Play with it, get what you're wanting to see. But you don't have to stop there with a full body. This pack also lets you go through and change different options right here. Let's got your traps. I like to make the traps a little bit bigger if it's a bigger, more muscle bound figure and whatnot. Many, many different options through this morph pack. And basically, you would just build your character through this after injecting it. As you can see, the morphs do go ahead and go over the entire character like that. Um, it's real simple, real easy to do. To show you an example of while it's open, let's see. All right, uh, we did not inject this inject Elite M4. You see Elite, there's nothing there. To show you what it does, you would just click the double check mark. It loads it. All of a sudden, there's the Elite options. This has been an introduction to loading morphs onto a figure, as well as a semi-introduction to how to build a figure, which we'll get into in a later portion of the series. However, the next thing that we're going to go into in the next video will actually be loading um, a character preset, a character that you've purchased from an online store like Daz3D.com or Renderosity.com. For that fi for that video, we will actually start over with a fresh Mic 4 figure, like what we started with. However, it will have the injection of the base morphs and the Morphs Plus Plus packs to start with. I always like to add those morph packs before I add a character pack, which we'll get to in the next video. Thank you for watching the How to Add Morphs portion of the Poser Basics 101. We'll be back in a little bit with the next video.